Rhode Island-based company Regent Craft has received a $10 million exploratory commitment from the U.S. Marine Corps Warfighting Lab. The funding supports a second phase collaboration to further pursue Regent's all-electric sea gliders for logistical and defense operations. Regent's prototype, the Viceroy, is a ground-effect craft capable of taking off and landing on water within one wingspan of the surface. The Viceroy sees projected travel speeds of up to 180 miles per hour, pursuing routes of up to 180 miles. The prototype glider accommodates 12 passengers as well as two crew members. With 88 cubic feet available for luggage or gear, max takeoff weight for the glider hits 15,000 pounds. Externally, the Viceroy is designed to operate over water exclusively, with ability to change between three modes. Shifting between fly, foil, and float, the glider includes carbon fiber composites, automated controls, and 12 electric motor propellers. Regent's glider is rechargeable from both shore and ship, ensuring constant energy supply while boasting a simpler design with fewer parts. Utilizing the ground effect while flying additionally increases glider efficiency, as the glide is supported by reactions of the air versus the water's surface. Currently, Regent's Viceroy is seeing development for both military and civilian uses. The military rendition sees benefits such as a quiet propulsion system, minimizing heat signature. Additionally, gliding on the water, the Viceroy sits above sonar, well below radar. With a second phase of collaboration intact, the U.S. military will further examine capability across missions, highlighting congested evacuations. Regent alternatively has broken ground for a facility in Rhode Island, which will come online in 2026 to house glider manufacturing and pre-delivery testing. Furthermore, agreements upon its Viceroy design basis have been submitted to the U.S. Coast Guard to further the glider's maritime certification pathway.